Hey Libby, thanks for joining us and giving us a recap. If you don't mind letting us know how many days has it been post uh, surgery? Yes, so my surgery was on May 12th, so that was a week ago today. So it's been seven days since surgery, and I had my first post op appointment yesterday, and that was where um, I got the drains out, binder off, um, all the surgical tape, and stitching taken off. So that was super exciting. Gotcha. So when they took it out, was it painful for you? Was it relatively painless? Did they give you any like numbing cream or anything like that? Or they just took it right out? Pretty much just took it right out. No numbing cream or anything. Um, it wasn't really painful. Just uh, the drains getting taken out in particular was very strange um, because the drains are basically like a long tube and there was actually quite a lot of it inside that they were pulling out. So the feeling of them pulling it out was very strange. Um, but was it one long not drain really or was it like one on each side type of thing? One on each side. Yeah. Um, and so I didn't really see it happening directly, um, but it felt like it was coming from basically sort of toward the center and kind of out this way. Wow. Okay. So not too painful though, the whole process. No. Nope. Okay. And how's that first week of recovery going for you? Um, so it's going pretty well, mostly just trying to take it easy and not reach around too much. Um, so I'm overall very happy, um, but limited in the activity that I can do. Like, um, can't really uh, lift anything more than about five pounds for this, the first three weeks. Um, one of the biggest challenges so far has actually been um, I was recommended to be on a low sodium diet, so less than 2000 milligrams a day. Um, and a lot of things that I sort of didn't necessarily expect had actually quite a bit of sodium in it. For example, um, I was considering ordering from Mod Pizza because I thought, well, if I just get some veggies and tomato sauce and on dough, it wouldn't be too bad, but the dough itself actually has quite a bit of sodium. So it's been mostly trying to um, cook some things at home and making sure that I'm calculating how much sodium I'm eating. Um, and that is for the purpose of trying to prevent swelling. Mm, gotcha. And for those of you who aren't in the area and don't know Mod Pizza, it's kind of like Chipotle for your pizza. They, you get like a little small dough and they ask you what kind of toppings you want to put on and it's kind of like a conveyor belt style and then they put it in the oven for you and then you take it out. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I guess a lot of processed food is really high in sodium, like hamburgers, french fries, like all this stuff, which I mean, they're just very high in sodium. So it is pretty hard to keep a low sodium diet in general, I think for most people. Yeah, uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then speaking of the recovery, did you take any vitamins or any supplements as part of the um, surgery recovery process? Yeah, so um, the only so I normally take a vitamin D and B12 supplement, um, but I added some vitamin C to take before the surgery, and I'm just continuing to take some of that um, right now as well, just in case. Um, in before surgery, I also had to stop taking. Um, any omega supplements and limit uh, any vitamin E that was um, in a supplement as well. Um, so nothing too different from normal. Uh, this isn't so much a vitamin, but also as an update, I think that um, hopefully it's not too TMI for this video, but uh, so I was prescribed three medications to be used as needed after surgery. So one was a pain medication, one was um, to help with um, nausea because uh, anesthesia can cause that as well as um, one to help with constipation. And I hadn't needed the nausea and the, um, uh, the pain medicine except for um, it seems like the anesthesia and maybe lack of uh, movement and activity has um, made bowel movements harder. So having a laxative actually helps that. So I started taking that as well. 
Gotcha. So you haven't used those other two medications at all during this No, I haven't. That's, that's really fortunate to hear. Um, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I didn't know that, that having like maybe constipation or something like that would even be a side effect of it. So that's a, yeah. <laughs> I, new I had no idea either. <laughs> did the doctor also recommend you like drink a lot of water or did they recommend any like electrolytes or fluids or anything like that? Or Yeah, I think um, the main thing is drinking lots of water, eating lots of fruits and vegetables to promote recovery along with the low sodium. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And you mentioned um, a lack, like lessening omega-3. I've heard like some people say like omega-3s can affect your increase of blood during bleeding, during surgeries or things like that. But I've also seen like kind of mixed information about it just because mm -hmm. there's probably just not that much information. Uh, sometimes you see a lot of mixed uh, medical general guidelines or advice. Yeah. Uh, but it's good to hear that everything's been going well. Like, I think vitamin C is pretty useful to take anytime. I just yeah. take vitamin Especially C. Especially now when yeah. we have a global pandemic. So, yeah. Yeah, I take vitamin C every day anyway. So it's good to hear yeah. that they recommended it. Especially if you want to make sure you prevent infections or kind of boost your immune system after surgery. So yeah. that's great. Um, at this point, for people who are squeamish, feel free to just turn away for a little bit. But I'd love to see kind of how the progress is going, um, how things are healing, and share kind of your, your perspective and your, your thoughts on the healing and recovering process at this time. Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, so far I think that everything looks really good. I'm just going to start unbuttoning my shirt as much as we could show. Um, the... At the post-op appointment, they also showed me how to take care of the um, nipple grafts. Um, so basically what happened was I had a double incision surgery, um, which means that um, there are two large incisions, although mine are actually connected um, in the center uh, to help prevent some of the like pinching and overflow in the center um, just because of the way my body was. Um, and so they make the two large incisions, take out the breast tissue, um, they take off the uh, nipple and resize it and then place it back on. Um, and so far, and right now the nipples are covered up, but I was very happy with the results. Um, and I can show the incisions from the front and the sides. So uh, here we have it connected in the center and um, you have a little bit of a curve, although um, along the muscle line, although, um, there are also different options for people that they can talk to their surgeons about um, depending on what they want. Um, here's kind of what, how far it extends on these sides. Um, but that's pretty much how it is healing right now. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the progress goes on. Wow, so during the first appointment post-op, you're able to even see kind of like your nipple progress as well um and then yeah they covered it with bandage because they don't want um anything to like scratch it or chafe it or anything um yeah so they uh gave me um some aquaphor which is basically like uh neosporin um and um they gave me this uh mesh and some um tape so that i could uh every day after i shower um apply the aquaphor to the nipple grafts for one more week after the post-op appointment. Um, so that that's what I've been doing and they taught me how to do that all yesterday. Mm, gotcha. So you, so every day after you shower, you actually need to put on like a new bandage to make sure um, it's moisturized and um, just safe and covered for, yep. for one week. And then after that, you'll yep. be able to just live free. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. And um, they did mention that the nipples would look worse before they look better. So there could be some um, scabbing and things like that. Um, but it should recover over time. Yeah, that's great. And, and for people who don't know a little bit more about the surgery, they, you will be using your existing nipples that you already had. They just cut it and kind of reshape it a bit and then um, put them back on your body um, so that makes sense that it needs to recover and that there might be scabs because it's literally been cut out. 
um, yep. to put it back in. Wow, that's those are really useful. You have any other thoughts one week after surgery, how everything's been going? Um, yeah, I mean, so far I I'm super happy. I have no regrets about the surgery. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like even if I had to look like this scarred for forever, it was better than my how I was feeling with my body previously. So I'm just really happy um, right now. Uh, and I think that things are going well. And I'm lucky to have been able to um, have the surgery and have so much of it covered by insurance and had support from um, my friends and um, work and everything. So, yeah, I think it looks really good so far. It looks like it's healing well. Uh, I mean, it's only been a week and it seems like it's not looking too bad. And you actually look mm -hmm. totally lean. Like, I would imagine, like, oh, like everything looks good. Thanks. Like, it seems like it's progressing well. And, you know, you got all that drainage stuff removed, which is probably like huge relief too, because it's probably potentially sleeping more comfortably now. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Things are definitely still feeling like they are healing and they're really uh, feeling weird and some tightness, but it's nice to have some of the mobility back. I, I do know that um, I think sleeping a little bit more normally has been helpful, even though I did just last night kind of wake up with this kind of weird feeling like I had massage balls squeezed under my armpits or something just maybe where the drains used to be and now there's just it's been there for a week and there's nothing there and I'm feeling something weird or something like that um but it's been pretty positive overall that's awesome that's great to hear this is a really good um check-in update one week post-surgery yeah glad to do this